Hi, welcome to Fantastic Feast. I'm your host, Tui Fan. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a Chinese bakery fruitcake, and it's something that I definitely grew up with every year. We always look forward to this, and the reason why I like this type of cake is because it's not super sweet, like the cakes that you get um, at the supermarket or whatnot. This is a really light, um, fluffy cake, and also the whipped cream topping makes it really light and not too heavy, so it's something that you eat, you don't feel too guilty. So what you will need for this dish or this cake um, is one cup of cake flour. Um, you also need four eggs, and then you also need a quarter cup of vegetable or canola oil. You also need two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of pandan extract. I'm gonna make the pandan flavor cake. You also need a quarter cup plus two tablespoons of water. Um, you also need a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. That will help your egg whites uh, stabilize. And then you also need a quarter teaspoon of salt. You need one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and then half a cup plus two tablespoons of sugar. So that's your components for your cake part of it. And then when you make the whipped cream, you also need two cups of heavy whipped cream and then a packet of gelatin, uh, and then some vanilla extract and some sugar just to lightly sweeten it up. So let's get started. Um, what we'll do first is I'll show you how to make the cake flour. So, the ingredients for that is literally you take one cup of flour and for every cup you take away two tablespoons of flour and replace it with cornstarch. But what you need to do is you need to sift it so that it has a light airy um, texture to it. So sift it through a sifter. While I have this here, I'll add the salt. This is your baking powder. sugar as well. Next what I want to do is I want to separate the eggs because we are going to whip our egg whites. So in the bowl with the egg yolks, what we'll do next is add all our wet ingredients. So it's two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm going to have here a quarter cup of vegetable oil. You just whip this up. So here is my handy dandy mixer. What you do is add your four eggs, whites, and then you mix it. So your egg whites are whipping. Now we'll add a quarter teaspoon of the cream of tartar. This will help stabilize the egg whites. They're right in. This is what you're looking for, where it kind of has a peak on top. Okay, now that we have our egg whites that we whipped into a stiff peak, um, what we'll do now is we'll mix our dry ingredients with our wet ingredients. And you wanna do a little bit at a time so it doesn't um, deflate it. So I'll pour a little bit in. I'll start folding. Okay, so what I have here is two eight inch round cake pans and you just pour the batter in and divide it in half. We'll cook it for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. You will just check to make sure that when the toothpick comes out clean then it's ready. So now while we're waiting for our cake to bake, I'll show you how to make the whipped cream. And the way to do it is we have eight tablespoons of cold water and you have about a packet or two teaspoons of the unflavored gelatin. Um, and you're gonna let it bloom. So basically it means you just let it sit for about five minutes. Two cups of whipped cream. And I'll add a splash of vanilla too. So our gelatin has bloomed and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna microwave this for about 30 seconds um, so that it becomes kind of a liquid and then I'll add it to the whipped topping so then uh, it helps stabilize it, so. Even with the cake wasn't good, all this fruit is gonna make it so delicious. So now all of our toppings are pretty much uh, set and ready. So what we'll do now is um, we'll take the cake and uh, we'll frost it and then we'll decorate it. So let's get to it. So I've let the cakes cool down and we will start to uh, build it. So just spread it. 
What I like to do is add some coconut. I have some fresh coconut shreds that I had saved from drinking fresh coconut, so. And I'll add my other layer of second cake. So it doesn't have to be too perfect because I am um, putting a bunch of uh, fruit on top. So I think for a home cook, it just makes it a little bit easier because you can disguise the imperfections because uh, it does take some practice to get it totally smooth and um, perfect. I'm not quite there yet, but I mean, it's pretty, it's good enough. <laughs> We're almost there, it looks pretty good, right? So now is where the fun starts, you can start layering it. I don't really have a plan, you could, you know, put it however you want. I like to just kind of uh, build it. such a delicious bite. It's not too sweet. Um, it's really nice and light and almonds and the fruit. I think that's one of the things about Chinese um, bakery fruit cakes that are so good is that it's not overwhelming. It's not so dense. So it's really easy to eat.